Hey guys. So today we're gonna talk about cleaning your bike and we're using Super Clean. You see the, the, the really nice product. The, the guys at Super Clean, they sent me this uh, swag, <laughs> which is nice of them, a shirt and, uh, and a hat. Got the camo trucker hat, I love that. Um, anyway, I want to talk to you about the proper way to clean and if this product works really good, I'll be putting on the shirt and, and because I endorse it. So when I um, clean a bike, I don't like to use a spray bottle and spray like right on the bike. Okay, because you have all these bearings, obviously your bottom bracket bearings, you got pivot bearings and everything like that. You don't want to spray, well they use, um, I just doesn't use bearings, but still you don't want to spray and have solvent inside those, those crevices. So what I like to do is take off the wheels and you can spray this direction and spray the chain or better yet if you just want to pop off the chain and another way i do it is i get some of the product and i just pour it in a little container and i use it with this method and so i just get a brush dab the brush in here and then i use that so that way I'm not spraying it all over the place. And if you notice, I've already pre-covered the rotors because you don't want to get it on the brake pads. Um, cleaner on the brake pads is probably not a good idea. Although your brake pads take a lot of abuse, I would just recommend against it. So this way, if you notice, I'm able to clean the, the cog or the um, chain ring and not get spray all over the bottom bracket and into those bearings in the bottom bracket. And I also have this brush. If the wheel was on, I would use this brush and I would be doing the cassette. But same thing with the, the, the pulleys. I don't want to spray a bunch of cleaner because there's there's actually little bushings or bearings inside the, the jockey pulleys in there. So I'm spraying it on like that. With, it, with the wheel on, it's a little bit easier to do the chain and, and, and turn the chain and clean the chain all at once. But with, with it off, you just kind of have to go through it. And look, at it, it's working pretty good. Look at that. It's uh, just one stroke. It's already taken, taken a lot of that grease off. I also recommend using a grease that's appropriate with your trail conditions. So for here, we use a dry, a dry grease on our chain. We don't need to use those heavy, wet greases. Probably would have been a good idea for me to wear a glove, but I didn't wear a glove. But anyway, so I always start with the drivetrain. That way I can let that soak on there, there for a little bit. But with any type of solvent or cleaning product, you don't want to let it dry on there. So if you're on a really hot day, you want to make sure you spray it down quickly and not let it dry there. So I'm going to just let it sit for a second for the video and then I'll go back over it again. But let's see how that did with just, you saw how that was, that was raw, I didn't do anything else. Again, where I'm spraying, I'm not. Tr I'm trying not to spray in right into the bearings, so I'm going and spraying back reverse this way, so I'm not pushing any solvent into my bottom bracket. Well, look how nice that came out. And that was one pass, and I don't even think I did the whole chain. I think I did this part of it. But man, that stuff worked excellent. I am really impressed. It just took all that grime off and you saw how lightly I did it. I didn't have to aggressively scrub it. You should let the solvent do the work. If you're having to do the work with your brushes, then there, there lies another problem too, that your, your um, solvent's not working effectively. And you notice how light the spray. I'm not gonna do full pressure. This is not a power wash. You don't want to power wash your bike because you have all these bearings and pivots and everything like that. You don't want any of the water to be pushed in there and to dry that up. So that came out pretty good. I think, honestly, I think this is a really good cleaner. And you saw what I did. I just used a little bit of dab. I touched the brush in there. It wasn't a very large amount at all. What I would do with the rest of it is I would dilute it in a big bucket of of water and make like a soapy base and kind of wipe down the rest just so I can utilize it. Or I just leave it in there 
for the next time I need to, <laughs> to wipe something down and just cover it up. So I think we're good. Um, thanks for watching. You gonna do the shirt okay, or I'll no? Do the shirt. <laughs> so I guess you I can have to endorse it. I'll do the shirt, the hat, and the hat. So we're gonna we're all good with the the super clean stuff. And here we go. So I'm a believer in super clean, and here's a super clean shirt that they sent me. Thanks, Super Clean guys. You have a great product. I really like it. And I highly recommend it, guys. It's a lot cheaper than some of those um, little um, bottles that you get in the bike shop. And you know, why go there if you don't need to? It's just it's just degreaser. So think about the bigger picture and you just want to get your bike clean. And thanks